my truth seekers, this is Pastor Jacob with another biblical first responder video, and this is Witness Wednesday. So you know what I need you to do. All of those wonderful, beautiful things that helps this channel grow. I appreciate that. God they chose. Jesus. Jesus. Now, I don't know all the intricate details, but there is a lot, a lot of violence going on in churches nowadays. I'm a pastor. I'm not afraid per se, but I'm very, very, very concerned. You know, we don't really want to talk about carrying guns in church. We don't really want to talk about the need to protect yourself in the house of God, but increasingly, week in and week out, it's becoming the topic of discussion because it must be. We must think about that. We must think about security in the church. We must think about the neighborhoods in which we live. We must think about what crazy person might walk in the church and try to do harm to the pastor or to the congregation. We can't sit around and act like it's not happening. We can't sit around and think that this doesn't happen or it will not happen to you. We do not know. We pray and we hope it doesn't happen. But even God said, my people perish for lack of knowledge because you won't listen. How much warning, ladies and gentlemen, do we need to have before we take action? Or do we just do nothing? Now, mind you, the Bible does tell us we're clear that we are sheep led to the slaughter. So I'm not saying we going out here looking for war. <laughs> we're not. However, if we could stop a mass murder in the church by having some, some, some type of security measures in place, why would we not do that? Why would we act as if nothing could happen to us? This is something that pastors that leadership, everybody needs to be thinking about because it is not a game when somebody's running up trying to stab you. A bishop stabbed inside of a church while delivering a sermon. He is gonna survive, but this attack just days after at least six people were stabbed to death inside a mall in the Sydney area. NBC's Molly Hunter has the late breaking details and a warning, we're gonna show you the moment of the church attack. It is graphic. Tonight, Sydney, Australia, in mourning again after two rare and unrelated stabbing attacks in three days. On Monday, a horrific moment captured on a church service live stream. In the middle of a sermon, a bishop stabbed repeatedly. It is not a game when somebody's running up trying to shoot you in the church, when somebody's running up trying to assault a pastor. I forgave him the moment he laid hands on me. Pastor Demarcus Cook practices what he preaches, even when it comes to the man who left him with several stitches and fractured bones to the right side of his face. Pastor says the man towered and outweighed him. The gentleman grabbed me by my jacket lapel and headbutted me with everything he had. Uh, I personally believe that had I passed out and become unconscious, uh, he may have killed me. We need to have security measures in place, not only to protect the pastor, but to protect the congregation. We gotta think about these things. We can't just ignore them anymore. We'd be foolish to ignore them. And God doesn't expect us to ignore them. He expects us to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. We ain't looking for no trouble, but we know how to to, to deter the trouble if it comes. We don't just stand here and wait for the trouble and say, Lord, protect me. No, no. Even Jesus told them, when it's time to flee, flee, run. Don't stand there and wait on persecution. If you can't get away, then stand up for Jesus Christ as you would. Stand to the death. But if you can't get away, by all means, run for the hills. 
we got to know when to use biblical wisdom. God has given us not a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind that makes sound decisions that has self-control. It's time for us now to start making those sound decisions. So what do you think about what we talked about today? Uh, leave me comments in the comment section. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you on the next one. God bless you.